The Prince and Princess of Wales are enormously touched by the kind messages they have received following Catherine's cancer diagnosis, a Kensington Palace spokesman has said. Saturday's statement also added they were grateful that the public understood their request for privacy. Catherine revealed in a video message on Friday that she had begun treatment. She received her diagnosis after tests carried out following abdominal surgery found cancer had been present. President Biden's 2024 campaign has employed a new strategy, one taken right out of former President Donald Trump's playbook, name-calling. Trump, during his 2016 primary campaign, referred to top Republican primary opponents as Lion Ted Cruz and Little Marco Rubio. He took jabs at Democrats like Senator Elizabeth Warren as Pocahontas and Senator Majority Leader Cryan Chuck Schumer and Speaker of the House, Crazy Nancy Pelosi. UFC legend Mark Coleman wasted no time going back to the gym days after laying on a hospital bed in critical condition. On March 12, the 59-year-old MMA pioneer saved both of his parents from a house fire in Ohio. After securing his mom and dad, Coleman went back to save his dog, Hammer, who unfortunately did not survive the blaze. Coleman was taken to the hospital later as fans and family worried for his life. M. Emmett Walsh, the wily character actor who became an audience favorite for his deliciously despicable performances in such films as Blood Simple, Blade Runner, Brubaker, and The Jerk, has died. He was 88. Walsh died Tuesday in Ste. T. Albans, Vermont, his longtime manager, Sandy Joseph, told The Hollywood Reporter. The cause was cardiac arrest. Russia said on Saturday it had arrested all four gunmen suspected of carrying out a shooting massacre in a concert hall near Moscow, and President Vladimir Putin pledged to track down and punish those behind the attack. Militant Islamist group Islamic State claimed responsibility for Friday's rampage, but there were indications that Russia was pursuing a Ukrainian link, despite emphatic denials from Ukrainian officials that Kyiv had anything to do with it. Click the subscribe button to get more headlines.